Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video. You might have watched my previous video on how to quit smoking or you just stumbled upon this video while searching on YouTube. Anyhow, welcome. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. Having said that, let's start with today's video, where we will cover everything you need to know about nicotine substitutes or nicotine replacement therapy, as it's also called. Now, our first stop here is a little disclaimer. This video is meant purely informational. This is not medical advice, and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now, the generic name of these medicines is nicotine, which is also one of the most addicting substances in a cigarette that also contributes to the craving you experience when you quit smoking. Now, nicotine substitutes are available in several brands. Among them, Nicoderm, Comet, Nicorette, Nicotrol, and there are many more. These nicotine substitutes are available in several forms. Adhesive patches, mouth spray, nose spray, chewing gum, and lozenges. Now then, one of the most important questions, when can you use these nicotine substitutes? Now, first of all, you can use them to quit smoking but it's always preferred that you first try to quit smoking without these medicines. Why? Because they do cost money and they can lead to side effects, but more on that later. Now, if you can't quit smoking on your own or you're smoking more than 10 cigarettes a day, then it's recommended that you try quitting by the use of nicotine substitutes. These nicotine substitutes may decrease the craving for a cigarette you might experience when you quit smoking, and they also decrease the withdrawal symptoms you would normally have both making you more likely to quit smoking for good, and that's what we want. Now, just to recap my last video on how to quit smoking, what are the withdrawal symptoms you might experience when you quit smoking? Among others, these are nausea, headaches, tingling in your hand and feet, coughing, a decreased appetite, and therefore also, sadly, a weight gain. So if you use these nicotine substitutes, you can decrease all of them, and that's a win in my books. And lastly, I always advise you to contact your doctor before you start using these nicotine substitutes to see if they are suitable for you. Now then how to use it and what would be the correct dosage? This totally depends on the form you're using. But for all of them, it's important that you quit smoking before you actually start using these nicotine substitutes. Otherwise, you're receiving double doses of nicotine and that's exactly the opposite of what we want. And I guess here it's not necessary for me to actually say it, but I will do so anyways. Pick one form of nicotine substitutes that is most suitable for you and just use that one. Don't mix them because that can lead to serious side effects and we don't want that. First of all, if you want to use the adhesive patches, make sure to place them at an undamaged skin area, so without wounds. Apply the patch, leave it for 24 hours and then replace it with a new one. Always make sure that you place it in an area that hasn't had a patch for at least seven days. And here is important that you do not cut the patches because they won't work anymore afterwards. Start with a patch that releases 14 milligrams of nicotine per 24 hours and replace it every 24 hours. Do this for two to three weeks and if the effect is insufficient in that time, then you can increase the dose. The maximum dose you can go to is 21 milligrams of nicotine per 24 hours. Use those patches for one to two months and then slowly start reducing the dose you're taking and maximum use them for three months. Then for the chewing gums, use them if you feel the need to smoke a cigarette. It's important here that you chew the gum slowly until you taste the specific taste of nicotine. Then stop chewing till the taste goes away and start slowly chewing again and so on and so on. By doing this, you will reduce the amount of side effects you might experience and also you get the most out of your gum. It's important here that you avoid acidic fluids, like coffee and soft drinks, 15 minutes before you start chewing and during the chewing of your chewing gum. This because those acidic drinks might prevent the absorption of nicotine in your mouth and therefore reduce the effect of your nicotine chewing gum. For the dosage, you should start with gums of 2 mg of nicotine per gum and you can use upwards of 14 per day. You can use them for 2-3 months and then gradually reduce the amount of gums you use per day and don't use them longer than 6 months. Now, the lozenges are used exactly the same way as the nicotine chewing gum. You place them in your mouth and you suck on them when the nicotine taste starts to disappear. And you do this until the tablet is completely dissolved, which takes 10-20 minutes. Here it's also important that you don't chew on the lozenge, 
you don't swallow it and you don't combine it with acidic fluids. Start with a dosage of one to one and a half milligrams per tablet and you can use one or two per hour for a maximum of 15 per day. Use them for two to three months and then gradually reduce the dose until you hopefully quit it. And lastly, we will cover nicotine spray. You have nasal spray as well as mouth spray, but for this example, I will just cover mouth spray. Now it's important that you first spray, spray the spray a few times in the air, so you will have a fine mist. Then the spray is ready to use. Place it in your mouth, avoid contact with your lips, and then spray firmly one to two times. Make sure to not inhale simultaneously because then the spray will go to your throat and the effect will be reduced. It's important that you keep the spray in your mouth where the nicotine is absorbed. You can use one to two sprays at a time for a maximum of four sprays per hour and 64 sprays per 24 hours. It is advised that you use the spray for six weeks and then start to reduce the number of sprays per day until again, you hopefully quit it smoking. Now then, side effects and safety. First of all, these nicotine substitutes are safe to use with all your medication, any type of food, and even with alcohol. Although, be careful with that one. For the side effects, unfortunately, nicotine substitutes do have side effects. They are mostly seen in the first few weeks of usage and then gradually reduce over time. I will list some of them right here. First of all, very commonly, you see local skin reactions when you use patches. You can have difficulty sleeping, nervousness, a headache, dizziness, and even nausea and vomiting. Commonly, you see irritation when you would use the mouth spray or chewing gums. You can get a burning sensation in your mouth or throat, a stuffy nose when you use the nasal spray, difficulties breathing, a cough, stomach ache, diarrhea, constipation. Uncommonly, your heart can go beat faster, you can get a high blood pressure, you can become angry or aggressive, you can have anxiety, sneezing, and hypersensitive reaction, where you will have a skin rash, you will feel sick and fatigue. And lastly, some advice for women who are breastfeeding or pregnant. First of all, smoking always is unhealthy for any individual, but also for an unborn child. So the advice always would be, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, quit smoking. It's an extra reason to do so. And the same, unfortunately, is true for nicotine substitutes. They can also be dangerous for your unborn child. So my advice to all pregnant and breastfeeding women would be, try to get advice of your doctor and find a suitable plan that will help for you. But it's important here that you try to quit smoking and that you avoid nicotine substitutes. Now then, in a nutshell, this was my video on nicotine substitution therapy. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. But more importantly, I hope you will be able to quit smoking with or without the help of nicotine substitutes. Now, if you're interested, my previous video is also on how to quit smoking and I will give some practical tips right there. So check it out if you want. In addition, feel free to share this video with anyone you know which is trying to quit smoking because Hopefully I might help them as well. Now if you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and will let YouTube know this video is worth recommending to anyone who is trying to quit smoking. Also feel free to subscribe so you won't miss next week's video. It will be on bupropion, Chantix or Nortriptylin, which can also help you to quit smoking. So, subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye bye.